I am Neil Carmichael. I was once chair of the Education Select Committee and since I left the House of Commons I have been working very hard in the areas of education policy um, and in particular I've been thinking about skills and training for the future. Well, the group consists of 15 experts from the world of apprenticeships, basically, industry, education, and we are determined to make sure that we can contribute to a debate about the future of apprenticeships, which are so important. And this builds on the work of the Commission, the Commission for Work, Life and a Changing Economy, where we were thinking about training and, and, and skills for the economy as a whole, but we realised then that apprenticeships are really critical, so we're focusing on them now. Well, we want to build on the existing platform of success for apprenticeships. We want to make sure that young people have huge opportunities, that they can develop themselves and their, their careers. We were very, very keen to make sure that businesses and, and employers feel involved and feel that they are contributing to the success of apprenticeships. And we want to be able to measure success and demonstrate that this whole policy is going in the right direction. Well, I think three key themes emerged really throughout the five sessions and will be clearly uh, uh, earmarked in the report. And they are talking about individuals and their opportunities, making sure that we have a sustainable system uh, which is long lasting, and also being sure that we can measure performance and measure success properly. Well, first of all, what we need to make be sure of is we get the right balance of skills across the whole of the economy. And that's part of this uh, outcome of an apprenticeship system if it's going to work. So that is a key part of our thinking and a key part of our report. Second, what we've got to be sure about is that we are thinking about the sectors in the right way and the different kind of opportunities so that we can say clearly that, op that regional growth uh, on coupled to productivity is actually really going forward. And the third key uh, issue is to make absolutely clear that small and medium-sized businesses, a big sector of our economy as a whole, have given proper representation and proper capacity to benefit from the apprenticeship policy. Young people, they certainly need more support and we want to encourage young people to think about apprenticeships as a way forward. But it's not just young people, it's everybody. And we want to make sure that we can see an apprenticeship system that is meeting the needs of individuals wherever they are, however old they happen to be. So the second key point about this is making sure that we Fill, fill the economy with the right kind of people in the right kind of sectors so that we have a mind on productivity, increasing productivity, both in the regions and within sectors. One of the things we've got to get clear in our minds is that success is important and to show that you've been successful matters. And so we need to be sure that becoming an apprentice and going through various courses is actually measurable and is actually something which people can recognise later. So that's partly the measuring of success. I think one of the great things about the group as a whole was the fact that we drew from so many different parts of the economy, so many different companies, so many different organisations. And all of us were focused absolutely ruthlessly on apprenticeships and why they are so important and how we can improve them. So this report builds on a vast array of different ideas, different organisations, but all looking in the same direction, promoting and supporting the apprenticeships.